Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Tyler. This is my tabletop. Today we're doing kind of a catch-all uh, video. Uh, I've got, I've been doing a lot of assembly, and some of them don't result in super long raw video files. So <clears throat> to get my normal fifteen to t my ten to twenty minute video length. Uh, without going so slow that it uh I don't want to show assembly at one times time acceleration because it's very very tedious so um I've put together a couple of assemblies on this video uh first off we are putting together skull master skull taker uh, it's a herald of corn on a juggernaut um, this is a, what do they call it, a fine cast kit. Uh, so it was formerly a, um, it would have been pewter metal kit. Um, so with fine cast, the, the mold lines and flashing are a little bit more extreme. Um, there's a lot more. There's spots that you have to really cut out and clean up, which takes some time. Uh, you can see that uh, at this point I was trying to be a little more careful. I'm wearing uh, a thumb guard, although I think I wind up cutting my other thumb in this video. <laughs> Blood for the blood god. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, so all we're going to do is we're going to trim the mold lines, the flashing, all of that stuff, and uh, glue this together. It's a pretty straightforward kit. Um, it doesn't really have any problems. Uh, it fits together pretty well, honestly, so... Uh, you can't use, I don't think you can use plastic cement. It's the wrong type of plastic. It's resin, so. Uh, so you have to use super glue or like five minute epoxy or something like that, but I don't know why you would do that. Uh, anyway, so I am going to shut up and, uh, let you guys watch this, and then I'll catch you back when I switch to the next model that I'm assembling.
And this is pretty much done. Um, I did run into some, I have been running into some problems where the head of the Herald itself is not staying on. Um, after painting and <clears throat> everything else, like, I'm, it keeps falling off at, at the neck. Um, I think it's just a small, uh, attachment point, and so it doesn't have quite as much, uh, connection as it could. But, otherwise, and other than that, I mean, it works really well. Uh, so, now we're going to, uh... Go backwards in time, actually. Uh, <laughs> the Herald was first, and then uh, these uh, the Screamers. Um, we're putting together the Screamers and then the Flamers from the Start Collecting Box for Tesnich. Uh These I had pre-cut before recording. It's a simple four-part uh, with some options. It's the body the tail, the head, and then the uh, spine, I guess, the dorsal spines, yes, dorsal spines, I think, uh, they go together very, very fast, um, no problems at all, just clip them out, trim them uh, for any mold lines or anything like that, there really weren't a whole lot, um, uh, there's a bit of a mold line on the dorsal spine on the inside, so you want to trim that off so that it sits flush. But uh, other than that, uh, for the flamers, we're going to uh, just follow the directions, really. And um, again, I pre-trimmed these. I clip them out and trimmed them off camera. Uh, so for each of these, they want you to put together the two halves of the body first, um, and they are numbered, so you can't mix them up. Um, although I managed to put it on upside down. Um, once again, I'm not gluing these to the bases yet because I need to, uh, texture the bases and I want to paint them, paint them in, I'm sorry, I wanted to paint them in the bases separately. Um, uh, so, uh, once you've got the bodies done, the next step is to put on the two arms and the head piece. Um. Uh, but for the pyroclast, uh, the leader unit, um, he's a bit more complicated. Uh, he's got a few extra parts to him. So you'll put on, as you can see, putting on uh, the two arms. I'm um, up in the top. I'm in the instructions in the top uh, left of the screen right now. And then adding gribblies. Uh, there's quite a few of these that come with the kit, so... Uh, even if you put on a bunch onto each one, you'll wind up with uh, spares for uh, your bits box. I don't know why I put so many on this one. I think I wanted him to kind of feel like the leader.
So the head is, or not, the, the part that goes on the head is actually two part, it's two halves. And then the two arms, uh, you can just pick and choose um, what you think looks good. And then add a gribbly or two. And now we're on to the third one. This one, uh, the flamer kit goes together pretty quick. Um, I don't know how good they are in game, so I don't know how many of you are actually putting together a bunch of them, but uh, they do go together pretty fast. If they're your jam. <laughs> And with that, that's going to wrap us up for this week. Um, thank you guys. Uh, thank you for watching, for hanging out, um, listening to me ramble. <laughs> um, if you like it, do all the YouTube stuff, like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Tyler, and this has been my tabletop.